Now, the thing is, they were all strangers. And I mean every single one of them. But for the short amount of time that I was there, they had the heart to take me in as their own. And that's what really moved me. They trusted me for some reason. They did. Enough to tell me everything. And, you know, I see it as my responsibility to give them what they want the most. And that's for people in the world to understand what they're going through. And I think that's all they ever wanted. Twelve thousand feet in the air. The rooftop of the world. I can taste the clouds. But my good friends look up here every night to say bye to mom one last time. Before she left their world with her last breath. And said, thank you my children. in an orphanage occupied by seven brothers and sisters of the same family. The moment I walked into the orphanage, I was missing in action from the rest of the world. No one would know where I was and what I was doing, but I left home telling people the one thing they should know, that I'm going to document the stories of child laborers. But living with the family brought me deep past the surface of this issue. There's a story to these children that no one but they know. together. The father was long gone and the older sons were responsible for keeping the family alive and safe from the heavy influences of drugs and alcohol on the streets. The plan was to work by day and protect by night. The El Alto Working District is home to many young child laborers. The orphanage caretaker took me to the streets to aid the children. Muchos de ellos eh, ya han salido de la familia justamente tal vez por desintegración familiar, entonces ellos salen a trabajar, ¿no? Desde tempranos años, a temprana edad, estos jóvenes. And for Finnick, this was the case. He is one among an entire crew of street children who roam the working district trying to make something out of their lives on their own. Young and vulnerable, he was corrupted by terrible influence. Among his friends, he is known as El Boracho, the drunk. Finnick is 13 years old. The adults running the orphanage decided it was time to take me to La Cancha, a place abandoned by the government, left nothing but little hope and lost dreams. We were going to 10-year-old Esteban, a friend of the orphan family. The orphans wanted me to see what the worst of life was like in Bolivia. But it wasn't this that intrigued me. Rather. A soundless TV in the family's home. The story of Argentina's demise told not by the voice of sports broadcasters, but by the voice of a widowed mother, tormented by the pressure she faces from the cruel treatment of this world. This is home. A continuous clashing of different realities in one place and one time. But I know it's possible. We can make our multiple realities one. I guess the point is, the orphans, Esteban, you and I, of course we all live completely different lives from each other. But the one thing I always tell myself is that not 
any one of us deserves better or worse. And it all comes down to that simple fact. We're all human. A mi segunda familia y a todos los jóvenes en los calles.